This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the job stories that we're following. Michigan State University announced it will be pausing workouts after one staff member tested positive for COVID-19 on Wednesday. The university said it will pause workouts and will not begin its 20-hour weeks until it receives the complete results from all the surveillance testing, according to a statement. MSU sent the following statement regarding the incident. As Michigan State football prepared for the beginning of the 20-hour week, during which student athletes and staff would be in larger groups than they had been in voluntary workouts or the eight-hour week. As Michigan State University football prepared for the beginning of the 20-hour week, during which student athletes and staff would be in larger groups than they had been during the voluntary workouts or the eight-hour weeks, they conducted surveillance COVID-19 testing on all staff members over the weekend and previously scheduled surveillance COVID-19 testing on student athletes on Wednesday afternoon. Late Wednesday afternoon, after testing on student athletes had been completed, one staff member received a positive result. Michigan State football will pause workouts and will not begin its 20-hour weeks until it receives the complete results from all surveillance testing. On Wednesday night, a virtual community meeting set up to talk about the Lansing Police Department's use of force came up short. The Zoom meeting lasted a total of two minutes. This was the second of three community meetings that the Lansing Police Department is holding. The goal of the meeting for authorities is to listen to the public's thoughts and concerns on the department's use of force and response to resistance policy. The meeting was led by Commissioner Patty Farhat. Farhat began the meeting by introducing the people attending, including Lansing Police Chief Daryl Green, Lieutenant Paul Basinger, and a few others. The whole agenda centered around an open discussion with the public. When Farhat noticed that no one else had tuned into the meeting after waiting in silence for a few minutes, they decided to call it a night. We reached out to Commissioner Farhat and Chief Green for a comment on the turnout of the meeting but we haven't heard back. The next virtual meeting with the Lansing Police Department is set for August 19th. The first of a three-part community input series begins on Thursday. The City of Lansing is offering virtual input meetings about racial justice and equality and the Lansing Police Department budget. The panelists include the City's Human Relations Director, the Diversity Including Council, Lansing Police Chief, and others. The other two meetings will be held on Thursday, August 8th and Thursday, August 20th. For information on how to register for Thursday's meeting beginning at 5.30, visit the Fox 47 News website. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News WSYM-TV created Rebound Mid-Michigan, everything that you need to get you back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can help in your own community. Rebound Mid-Michigan, everything that you need to help you get through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't celebrate their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News created the Senior Spotlight, a way for anyone to record a video shout out or upload a photo of a special graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today, to let mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.